Many cancer patients receive care from a radiation oncologist, a physician who specializes in treating cancer with radiation therapy. The role of the radiation oncologist is to work with the other members of the cancer team to help maximize the outcomes of the individual cancer patient. In many cases, this involves working with the surgeons, the medical oncologists, or other members of the team to help patients receive the best outcome. The radiation oncologist plays a very important collaborative role with other physicians in treating such cancers as breast, prostate, lung, gastrointestinal, and other genital urinary cancers, among others. There are two main types of radiation therapy. Teletherapy, where radiation comes from the outside, as compared to brachytherapy, where a radioactive source is either placed within or next to, or in the resection cavity of a previously removed tumor. The benefits of teletherapy is that radiation comes from the outside of the patient. They're able to lay in a position that is hopefully comfortable, and they can maintain for a period of time to get the accurate amount of radiation in. Brachytherapy is a type of radiation where we can actually boost or increase the dose in a very small area, minimizing the amount of normal tissues to radiation, and subsequently reducing potential treatment side effects. We utilize a multitude of other specialties and technologies within what we do. We incorporate cone beam CT. A CT scanner is actually built into the radiation therapy machine so we can visualize before we push the button where the radiation is going. If a change has happened either in the position of the target or the patient has moved, we can see this before the treatment is delivered to make adjustments and treat appropriately. In addition, we incorporate PET-CT scans in the planning of radiotherapy as well, where we can really see tumor and avoid normal tissue, subsequently cutting down on treatment-related side effects. Each individual treatment can last anywhere from two minutes to 20 minutes, depending on what the goals and the target are. In terms of the course of radiation, this can take place from one individual treatment in cases of stereotactic radiosurgery up to sometimes two months of treatment done on a daily basis for some more complicated tumors. With the new advances in radiation therapy also, we are able to cut down on the individual treatment times. So for example, tumors that previously took 10 to 20 minutes for treatment now can be done in two to three minutes with even improved accuracy. Radiation therapy can be extremely effective if used in the right circumstances, depending on the type of tumor and the goals of treatment. 